So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a player review on one of my current favourite players in this year's Ultimate Team, and that is Belgian and Napoli forward, Mertens. Now you'll see in a moment that I've used Mertens quite a bit considering I've only had him a few days. I've played him in foot champs, I've played him in the daily knockout tournaments, I've played him in squad battles, I've played him in divisions and single matches, so he's pretty much been tested in every Ultimate Team game mode, and in every single one, I've had a lot of fun with him, he's scored goals, and he's set them up. He has been used in a pretty nice Serie A team, which I did do a squad builder on. If you want to see that, I have put a video up on my channel already, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. And also, if you click the I button in the top right, that'll have a link to that video as well. Anyway, guys, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment below who I should review next, and also let me know in the comments if you've used Mertens and how he was for you. Right then, let's talk about his in-game stats, which, as you can see... There are a lot of impressive attributes on your screen right now. Starting off with the pace ones, acceleration, sprint speed, very nice in-game. I don't have to tell you, he is quick. His shooting, I loved his finishing. I thought he was clinical in front of goal. And his long shots were very effective as well. Don't take my word for it. Just wait till you see the clips. That will show you how clinical this guy can be. His passing for what is a pretty attacking forward was very impressive. You can definitely play Mertens as a cam, as a centre forward or as a striker. He'll do a job in all three of those positions. Though I do uh, think he'll definitely benefit from having him up front. If not, use him as a centre forward in the false nine. Dribbling. Just look at those stats. Do I have to say anything? On the ball, he is excellent. Agile, quick, great ball control, and an absolute joy to have on the ball. We're not going to talk about him defensively. However, he does track back very quickly. Finally, physically, obviously strength is a standout negative. But, um, you know, he's got that agility to dribble around defenders and the pace to get around defenders. So, you know, just avoid defenders as much as you can. Right then, starting off with a pretty interesting goal, and sadly it's one that didn't get credited to Mertens, but I just still wanted to include it anyway. If you didn't see what happened, Mertens smashed it down the middle, Vardy's on the line trying to clear the ball, and the shot's got too much on it, and Vardy has actually pushed it into the roof of the net. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting clip to start off with. Sometimes in FIFA you just have those games where nothing really goes your way. However, this game that you're watching right now, well, these set of clips from a game where pretty much everything went Mertens' way. He was just having it how he wanted, starting from this little deflection here where he is the first to react and he slots the ball in the back of net. You cannot give him chances like that because he will finish them with ease. And then there's goals like this which, you know, the guy didn't close me down. I'm going to attempt the long shot and unfortunately for my opponent, he hits his defender and still goes in the back of the net. It was just going right every time for Mertens and once again, you give him that little bit of space and he'll punish it, he's just one of them players. So let's talk about how Mertens performed generally in games. And I'm going to say it again, he is a lot of fun to use. If he's not scoring goals, he's setting them up. He was always involved in attacks, and that's what you want when you play it a lot for an attacking player. Mertens, for me, just played his role so well. He was constantly, you know, making runs, supporting the player, and spearheading them attacks. And on the ball, you can see, he was unstoppable at times. Great pace, awesome ball control. He'd run at defences and, you know, 10 defenders inside out before breaking through gaps and slotting the ball into the back of the net past the goalkeepers. And when it came to scoring goals, apart from heading, Mertens was incredible. He loves one-on-ones and don't even think about giving him space for long shots because... You know, you'll regret it, especially the finesse from outside the box. His passing for a forward was brilliant. There's no complaints there whatsoever. His short passing game was on point. His deliveries were great, and he can do it from both feet too. Physically is where his negatives come into play. Now, I've mentioned his weak strength already, so, you know, be aware of that. Keep away from defenders, because even wingbacks have got enough strength to knock Mertens about. Now, you can, of course, counteract this by using his great dribbling and one-twos to get around defenders. I also wasn't a big fan of his stamina, so I am going to point that out. But um, that could be down to most of my attacks being going through Mertens, so I can see why he tired easily when I was using him. So in summary, what a player. Seriously, an absolute joy to use up front, and I do recommend trying this guy out if you can afford to do so. If not, wait till he drops and then give him a go. I promise you he is worth it. Brilliant, and probably one of the most fun players that I've used at this FIFA so far. We'll quick, uh, quickly recap the pros and the cons. So obviously, very quick, great to use in game, awesome on the counter attack. His dribbling and general just ability on the ball was outstanding. In front of goal, no complaints whatsoever. Left foot, right foot, he can put the ball in the back of the net, no problems. His passing for a forward is brilliant, and I loved his run making and just general positioning as a whole. The standout for me, 
I don't know if it was his finishing, his positioning, or his dribbling. They were all awesome, but I'll just go with his finishing because he is a goal scorer. And um, the only negative I found really that stood out was his strength, which obviously can be counter counteracted. Sorry, if you are good on the ball, I'm not brilliant on the ball, like just general dribbling. I wouldn't say I'm the most creative, but um, you know, man, it's a good job for me. So if you can do a good job for me, you can probably do a job for most of you because I imagine that quite a few of you are better at the game than me. Overall, I'm going to give Mertens a very solid 9 out of 10 and definitely up there with the best non-informed cards I've used so far in this year's FIFA. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this 86 rated Mertens. I hope you've enjoyed this play review. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it, comment below who I should review next. And apart from that, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.